I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on Pascal's triangle. Question number one. Nirvan and Vishu are skateboard enthusiasts and are trying out different routes. Vishu lives seven blocks east and five blocks south of Nirvan's house. Nirvan can try in skateboarding to Vishu's house going east or south. Using Pascal's numbers, determine how many different routes Nirvan can try skateboarding to Vishu's house. B is, if Nirvan wants to go by Auntie Anna's house along the way, which is four blocks east and two blocks south of his house, in how many ways can Nirvan get to Vishu's house? So I'd like you to pause the video, copy this question, work it out, and then look into my suggestions. So we'll do part A first, where Nirvan goes direct to Vishu's house. And we are given that Vishu lives seven blocks east and five blocks south, right? So we'll begin from here. So let's see how many routes are there when Nirvan goes seven blocks east and five blocks south. So, so let us say these are seven blocks. Let me draw lines here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And uh, we'll draw five blocks out. So let's say one, two, three, four, and five. So that gives us the position. Nirvan is starting from here. And Vishu lives there. Nirvan can only move east or south. Right. Now, if Nirvan is going east, there is only one way. So this is all one way. Similarly, if Nirvan goes only south, there is only one way. At this location, there are two ways. Nirvan can go east and south or south or east. So we just add the previous two. And that is what Pascal's triangle principle is. So let's add these also. 2 and 1 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In this case, it'd be 1 plus 2, which is 3. 3 plus 3 will be 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. Plus 7, 28. Plus 8, 36, right? Now the next one. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 and 10 is 20. 20 and 25 is 35. And when you add this up, you get 56. 6 and 8, 14. 4, 1, 84. And that makes it 10 and 1, 12. 120. Now, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 and 10 is 15. 15, 20, 35. 35, 35 is 70. 7 and 5 is 12, 126, 6, 4, 10, 1, 11, 2, 10. And then when you add 120 to it, it becomes 320. 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 and 15 is 21. When you add this, you get 56. When you add this, you get 126. And then you add this, it is 2 times, so 252 right so it gets 252 and then you add this i mean 2 sorry 21516 and 462 and when you add 462 to 320 2 and 6 and 2 is here a mistake it should be 330 10 and 20 is 330 6 and 3 is 90 and that is 7. So we get 792. Correct. So that is all you get. So those are the number of ways in which Nirvan can go to Vishu's house. Now we will do part 2 which is, let me write down the answer, which is it is 792 unique ways.
The next one here is if Nirvan is going via Anna's house. Now let us do part B in which Nirvan decides to go via Anna's house. That means he has to go seven blocks east and five blocks south via Anna's house which is four blocks east and two blocks south. So he goes four blocks east and then two blocks south to reach Anna's house. So let's make this first. So we have uh, four blocks east. So let's say one, two, three, and four. That is four blocks east and uh, two blocks south. One and two. So that becomes Anna's house, right? Now from here, what is left? Nirvana has already traveled four blocks east. He has to go seven. That means three more, right? That means three more. So from here, three more. So uh, one, two, and three. Three more. And as far as the other direction is concerned, which is south direction, five blocks to cover. He has already covered two blocks, so three more. So we have one, two, and three. So that becomes a final position. Okay, so let me extend this line also. Let's this be the path. Okay. Now let's work out. Again, same strategy. That is Nirvan. This is A for Anna. And this is V for Vishu. So while going only east or south, it is 1, 1, 1, 1, right? When you add them, you get 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 and 3, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. So there are 15 ways to reach Anna's house. From here, going east will be 15 each. South will also be 15, right? So now you add them. 15 and 15 is 30. 30 and 15 is 45. When you add 15, you get 60. 45 plus 45 is 90 and this is 150. When you add this, you get 60, 150 and when you add 150, you get 300. So now there are 300 ways of going, right? So, so in part B, via Anna's house, there are 300 ways. Right. So that is how you could do it. So I hope it helps you to understand how Pascal's law can be applied in finding different uh, routes. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.